Hi everybody, it's Miss Elena from the Ramsey Library. And guess what, it's time for story time. We're trying to beat the rain, it's coming. So today's story is My Garden. Yes, and we're gonna do the welcome song first. I forgot Nelly, oh no, Nelly. Come here, Raga. sit down. He's joining us. So we're just gonna sing. Hello, neighbor, what do you say? It's gonna be a wonderful day. So give a little clap and turn around. Give another clap and boogie on down. Like I am. Okay, so this is my garden. This is my garden over here. I have peppers and zucchini and tomatoes and Brussels sprouts and blueberries, all that stuff. This is chard, all that stuff. So this is today's topic, My Garden by Kevin Hanks. So here we go. And he says this is for Al Alti. That little cute bunny. See that? Cute bunny. Ooh, look, my mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. Look at that pretty picture. In my garden, flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. And if you pick the flower, another one would grow right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. <laughs> Look at that. They're all the chocolate bunnies. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a big jelly bean bush. Look at that jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. See? In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. Oh, it's starting to rain. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls. And the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. Mm -hmm. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would grow, glow like lanterns. Hmm? <laughs> it's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing, <laughs> glowing before bed. <laughs> Take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? Cover it up with dirt. Pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asks mother. Oh, nothing. I just say, just working in the garden. The end. <laughs> we gotta go inside. <laughs> Get the time. Thank you for joining us. Bye. We got to go inside now.